Hello viewers, welcome to Gadget Doc Kit. Following the demonetization of 500 and 1000 rupees currencies in India by our honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, people find it difficult to do their daily transactions. Every day we find a lot of people standing in front of banks and ATM centers to exchange their old currencies and of course to withdraw the amount from their bank accounts. So now it's high time for us to know and learn how to make online card transactions. Today in India, most of us have an ATM card or a debit card and many of us also do have uh, the credit cards. So in this video, we would like to tell the basics which you should know to make an online card transaction. But before that, if you are not subscribed to our channel, please click the subscription button below. Your subscription will help our channel grow and help us make more informative videos like this for you. So coming back to our video. So if you wish to make an online card transaction, it is very simple and all you have to do is give four different set of details on the website on which you need to do the online card transaction. The first thing you will be asked to enter is the card number. This is a 16 digit number that will be available on your card and these 16 digits will be divided into four sets of four digit numbers each. After that you need to enter the validity of the card that too you will find on the top of your card it will be available in the form of months and years the first thing you find here is the month starting from 1 to 12 that is from January to December and the second one you find here is the years so in the demo card what you find as 125 is January month and the year 2025 similarly you will find a date printed on your card you need to enter that date in the validity section following the validity you will be asked to enter the card holder name which we have mentioned in this demo card as customer name you need to enter the name with the exact spelling that you find on the card the last thing and the most important thing which you need to enter is the cvv code which you will find at the back of your card the cvv code is a three digit number that will be available at the back of your card near the signature section. Once you enter all these details, your one-time password OTP will be sent to the registered mobile number that is the mobile number which you have registered for your bank account as well as for the card transaction. So you need to enter that OTP also correctly. Once you do this, your amount will be transferred. For your information, this OTP will be sent only to the registered mobile number and this is for the security purpose. So at the time of crisis like this where uh, due to demonetization people find it very difficult to take their amounts from the banks, it is always better to do the online card transaction as much as possible and that is the basic idea for us doing this video today. I hope this will be helpful. If you like this video give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye, take care.